is impossible for someone who is willing to try to give it a shot. I believe that even pipe dreams can come true. My pipe dream was quite literally to do with pipes. To construct a boat made entirely out of pipes and paddle it down a river. To raise awareness about pollution in general and about how we are managing to choke our most famous river, the Holy Ganges. We need to stop throwing garbage into our rivers, particularly plastics. Single-use plastics like bottles, cups, bags, packaging, etc. are the most to blame. We use it once and throw it away, and it finds its way into our rivers, lakes and streams. To finally land up in the ocean, where it lives on forever. It becomes toxic food, which then ends up on our plates slowly but surely poisoning us. Today we dump about 8 to 10 million metric tons of plastic garbage into our oceans every year. We use 500 billion plastic bags every year, or 1 million bags every minute, or 150 bags per person every year. Reduce your carbon footprint. Stop polluting the environment. Stop using plastic, particularly single-use plastic. Our pipe dream is to see a world devoid of plastics. And the canvas I'm using to raise awareness is by constructing a boat made out of pipes and paddling it down the Ganges. The pipe dream project started with a design on paper that now had to be translated in real life. Pipes were cut and the boat started to take shape. The base was made out of 6 inch diameter pipes, two of them parallel to each other, joined by two cross pieces, two and a half feet wide. On top of this foundation, 12 pipes of 4 inch diameter and each 3 feet wide were laid, in groups of 4. The center group of 4 was where the seat would be. Each piece of pipe had to be meticulously waterproofed with hardcore glue. Any leakage at all and the project was destined to failure. Getting the seat in place took some effort. The legs were cut off of a plastic chair and bolted to the pipes with clamps. Nuts tightened. It looked in pretty good shape to not slide around while on the water, particularly with my quite ample frame on it. A sheet of fiber reinforced plastic was sandwiched. This would hopefully reduce drag. Finally, the entire structure including the pipes and the sheet were tied down with wire and coconut husk rub. I required access to my solar charging unit and decided to build a frame to hold the solar panel. This would also end up acting as a sunshed. A good idea, but I had my apprehensions since the frame looked mighty feeble. My worry was that it might fly away in the wind and that my paddle would hit the frame or the roof. Since I required a lot of divine intervention, it was nice to start the process on the banks of the Ganges, in one of India's holiest cities, Haridwar, where the Ganges leaves mighty Himalayas and flows into the plains. This is where people from all over the country come to aid the final journey to heaven of departed souls. This is where people gather in thousands every evening to pay homage to Mother Ganga, thus cleansing their souls. The evening arti is truly an attraction, apart from being a very religious experience.
After having called on Divinity to bless the project, it was time to launch. Gear was stuffed into dry bags, all of which went into a larger dry bag and cinched down on the boat. The solar panel was fixed, but my worries about it continued. Finally, the Pipe Dream project hit the water, and voila, it floated beautifully. Life jacket on, GPS mounted, cameras placed, paddle leash in place, the journey was finally on. I noticed was that the Ganges is drying up. Despite a very good monsoon and floods in many parts of the Gangetic plain, I was paddling in about six inches of water and soon got wedged in rocks and had to keel haul the boat to the deeper water. realized that this design was a no-go.
design was that it was almost impossible to steer the boat. Was it the weight? Was it because of the drag? Was it the length? I don't know. But the design is flawed and the boat had a mind of its own. to listen to me and went its own merry way. I realized that to undertake a longish journey on this particular craft was not advisable and it was going to be back to the drawing board again. I certainly needed the more streamlined boat, something that responded to the paddle strokes and went the way I wanted it to. Maybe a canoe paddle would be a better option instead of a kayak paddle. Meanwhile, it is back to the drawing board for another round of designs and fabrications and experimentation. Phase two will be a lot smoother. I certainly look forward to it. Yes, 
pipe dreams to come true. Thank you.